to roll out uh, cloud services for the cloud service consumers, uh, the role of government or AKA the state cannot be uh, overlooked because uh, from the customer's perspective, the serviceability and the provisioning of cloud services has to be uh, ensured to the satisfaction level of the customer. And at the same time, uh, the business viability for all the stakeholders and investors has to be uh, ensured as well. So we are going to look at uh, the business aspects, uh, which are uh, from multiple perspectives, the cloud service providers, uh, cloud service uh, network elements, and the uh, cloud service infrastructure providers. Then we'd look at the role of government in regulatory aspects, and we are going to delve into the Pakistan Cloud First policy by the Ministry of IT and Telecom. It was uh, um, uh, published back in February 2022. So let's start with the business aspects. Um, the provisioning of the cloud infrastructure and the resources uh, to the um, people has to be done in the most efficient way. Uh, that is in terms of the electric electricity utilization, in terms of the computing and communication resources, it has to be efficient. So it means that from the business perspective, the minimum investment should return in maximum profitable yield. Then uh, it is also important for the businesses um, to make sure that they have some third party security certification uh, to develop a level of trust uh, between the government, the cloud service infrastructure provider, for the eventual end user, that is the consumer. Then some security infrastructure has to be provided to ensure that the privacy of user data is intact. In this case, we have the uh, uh, Data Privacy uh, um, Act and the regulation uh, that is the European uh, Data Protection Act, which is a, a reference for the uh, people who are investing in cloud infrastructure. Then. Uh, it is also important for the business to make sure that the customer is able to backtrack uh, the usage of a certain cloud uh, service. So it means some transparency and accountability if there is a conflict is also there. So it means that a service provider has to be accountable before a third party if there is a conflict with the customer. Then um, in order to ensure that the business is fruitful, uh, the competition or the fair market competition uh, encourages innovation. So from the business perspective, innovation is where one uh, cloud service provider gets an edge over the other. This is going to result into the optimal usage of the resources, and it will have a spin-off in terms of the environmental impact. For instance, uh, the most immediate environmental impact is going to be in terms of the energy utilization or the carbon footprint. In addition, uh, the uh, wastage or the disposal of hardware in due course of time is also going to reduce. So these business aspects uh, are what the business investors would be eyeing at. So where does the government come in? The government has to ensure certain regulations and enforcement of those regulations through some agencies. Uh, so from a, a nation state perspective, uh, a nation state, or in, in our case, Pakistan, would have to ensure that digital transformation of the society takes place by allowing a green field for all the uh, cloud service providers. Um, each one of these is going to compete over the other in terms of uh, targeting a certain market segment. So the government will have to make sure that a fair competition exists and encourages them to um, resort to the latest use of technologies. Then uh, the services which are otherwise available in more classical or traditional form have to be enabled online. This means that uh, from the business perspective, yes, there could be some uh, customer services which are not for everybody, but for most of the cases, the uh, uh, cloud services have to be such which enable the services which otherwise are offered for the uh, customers or citizens in a more um, cloud-oriented manner. Uh, this all will lead to a good governance because uh, a government would only invest or encourage some um, infrastructure 
by the by the third parties or the um, investors world over to come and compete in a manner which results in overall positive impact for uh, better governance this would involve uh, guiding at times uh, um, encouraging or in certain rare situations uh, penalizing wherever non compliance is observed so this is where the big brother role of the government is best utilized now let's look at some key uh, takeaways from the uh, pakistan cloud first policy uh, by the ministry of it and telecom uh, which was published in february the last year uh, so they have certain uh, keys or salient features which uh, uh, ministry of it would like uh, to ensure number 1 uh, purely from a government perspective um, the procurement and purchase which is a very important process uh, executed by the government uh, has to be reduced so it means the procurement time has to be reduced by maintaining a list of pre accredited cloud service providers so this is what the uh, policy talks about as first and foremost then uh, uh, the government would also um, encourage the investment in cloud services uh, by the local as well as international cloud service providers um, the government is going to facilitate um, the cloud service providers to achieve economies of scale or in other words to allow uh, the uh, cloud service providers to remain business viable and then the government has to play the role of an inter intermediary to provide transparency to the citizens in the wake of a conflict and otherwise also uh, if there are certain solutions where the mediation of the government is required or in certain other situations where the government itself is providing the services using the cloud infrastructure uh, in addition the uh, policy suggests to increase the utilization of cloud services by uh, migrating from the traditional um, data center based hosting or the in house hosting on typical servers like web web server ftp server and certain other content servers to cloud hosting so the migration from distributed to centralized cloud would ensure so many advantages one of them being the um level of consistency which can be maintained by the cloud infrastructure uh, then uh, if we have the cloud and the cloud has immense uh, potential to uh, encourage local market competition so some entrepreneurial ecosystem could also be uh, encouraged because most of uh, the services for the citizens either in public sector or in private sector are being offered through uh, web and mobile so this is where the government role would be uh, involved then um, in order to uh, develop preferably uh, a pakistan specific um, workforce that is savvy in ensuring the provisioning uh, overseeing uh, designing implementation of cloud services uh, some indigenous or local workforce has to be present at uh, some uh, steady state where we are not dependent upon the vendors or the original equipment manufacturers uh, then the government would also be involved in uh, uh, recommending a synchronized approach uh, that is there are so many government departments at the uh, provincial level uh, and uh, the federal level uh, which um, are continuously involved in uh, purchase uh, for goods or services or repair where the um, level of uh, lead versus lag or delay results in uh, most of the projects going uh, um, towards incompletion or in certain cases failure so the policy is also aiming at addressing that concern now uh, the organizational hierarchy of uh, something known as the cloud office is being uh, uh, adopted at the government level by uh, thinking about a cloud board similar to the uh, other boards that we have in pakistan at the federal level then uh, it would be uh, overseeing the implementation through a direct directorate general or a directorate of cloud uh, this directorate would have uh, multiple directors for instance infrastructure and operations 
uh, the procurement, uh, cloud adoption, uh, and audits. Uh, so it means that this organizational hierarchy is now being uh, uh, studied or now being deliberated upon to make sure that uh, uh, the Pakistan cloud first policy is implemented in true letter and spirit. There are certain additional requirements or we can say uh, some uh, extended scope considerations for the Pakistan cloud service policy which uh, encompasses both the business as well as the regulation aspects. Uh, the first one is the audit. The auditability is a, a fundamental requirement in cloud infrastructure. There are certain security audits, uh, financial audits, uh, even uh, uh, data breach audits which are required to ensure that uh, the compliance to the Privacy Act to the financial transactions, uh, fair exchange of uh, goods, and the uh, resource utilization as per the recommended uh, uh, guidelines is being followed. Then uh, the government would also, in phase, slowly discourage the investment in uh, local ICT infrastructure, which is not cl non-cloud based. It means the government would encourage uh, the uh, government sector entities to think about uh, dovetailing or uh, harnessing the cloud infrastructure which uh, would be available publicly for government as well as for a uh, private sector. Uh, then the cloud service providers would have to be registered under uh, various uh, uh, levels of uh, services that they could possibly offer uh, so that uh, a complete uh, uh, profile could be available to the customers as well as government entities if they are interested in seeking services of a certain type. Uh, then the uh, uh, periodic accreditation of cloud service providers has to be carried out uh, in particular because we are talking about the Pakistan cloud first policy coming from the ministry itself uh, to make sure that there is a specific um, address of uh, uh, government data uh, privacy and uh, usage policy which exists. So this accreditation would be uh, a long-term uh, implementation strategy for the uh, Ministry of IT. Uh, let's just have a look at the Pakistan Cloud First policy. Uh, you may download it uh, free of charge from the web. Have, have a good look at it. It's not a very hefty document.